Now, I've talked about this concept of scale chords before. I believe I talked about it on the preacher chord lessons. But let, let, let me play it and I'll explain it a little bit more. So I have. Now, in the music, I just wrote this F7 out as just holding out for the whole measure. And you, you could do that. I, I also like putting it in on beat four as well. So look at what's happening here. So the melody is... And what I'm doing is I'm thinking I have my F dominant seventh chord, all right? And if I were to fill in the notes around the chord, you know, uh, uh, which, which would create my scale for me, I'd have my ninth, right? I could have my uh, 11 and my six. So basically I have this dominant seventh scale or this mixolydian scale. On a dominant seventh chord, you would usually use this mixolydian scale, all right? And the mixolydian scale is just a major scale with a flatted seventh. Now, what I can do is I can go down that mixolydian scale. So you see how I'm, so I can start right here. And look at what I'm doing. I'm creating a chord. Now it doesn't have to be the same chord all of the time. It doesn't have to be, it's not like, you know, uh, okay, if you have the third up on top, I'm playing F7, if I have the third up on top, I always have to do this chord. I did, I voiced it this way because I wanted to get that F dominant seventh sound. And then coming down, I could have gone, done this. See how I went down? But what you should notice, what you should be cluing into, is the fact that I am only using these notes. I am not using any of those notes. It's just these notes. Right? So, and in creating the chord, you'll also notice that I'm not just using triads, uh, or I'm not just using like a root position kind of triad. Instead, I'm spreading it out so it's like a second inversion kind of triad. See that? Second inversion triad of F, or something like this, which is more like a hybrid kind of triad. Yes, it's three notes but it's not a, uh, any uh, um, uh, uh, a typical triad. You can consider it an A diminished triad, yes, okay? And I can go to that, that. So basically what I am doing is I am harmonizing the notes of that scale using notes from the scale. This might make it a little bit easier for you. Let's say that I'm in C. I have a C major chord, okay? And I just wanna do, I want to harmonize those notes right there. Well, what I could do is I could just come on down. I know I can use any of the white notes to create uh, uh, my chord, right? So I can do, uh, do something like that. Now, maybe for the last one, I might want to end on C like that. Okay, now if I start to like kind of do a groove. Now, I voiced it like that. I could have also done something like that. What about something like this? So this is what I'm talking about. This is where you're creating chords just from the notes of the scale. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to come up with some interesting sounds. If I just did this. Yeah, it sounds kind of boring because it's just, you know, root position triads like that, all right? So hopefully you understand the concept. You're harmonizing the notes of the melody using uh, notes from the scale. Okay, and you're just using notes from those scales, and you're creating pretty much whatever chord you want to from those notes of the scale. Okay, now how you'll know to do something like that, to do a little trick like that, is see see what's going on. 
See how it's moving right on down the scale? If I had something like, um, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, th th There's a good example. See how it doesn't really just go up and then down the scale? It does, it's not like it's doing something like, like that. It's, yeah, that kind of starts going up the scale, but then we're doing this, you know, lower, above, da da, you know, you're kind of doing this approach around that F. So it's not just going up and down the scale. So you're looking for these patterns that really just boom, 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 move right up or down a scale, like this one does. So now using the concepts that I was just talking about, I could also come up with some, you know, more odd sounds. Or that's kind of an interesting sound. And see how I can like really make it thick. As long as I stay within that scale, pretty much anything I'm going to do is going to sound pretty good. Even check this out. Oops. But what's cool about this concept is that you're able to create these real neat kind of walk ups, walk down, kind of preacher chord kind of sound, uh, and you're just focusing on the scale, right? You're not having to think of each note and, oh, what is the chord for each note? Because realistically, if you were to stop and really analyze what's going on, let's take a look at this. We'd say that's F7, right? But this is really like an E flat over F, and then back to F again, F7. So really, I threw in that E flat over, okay? E flat over F. Or you can think of it as F sus, F7 sus4 with a 9. But the point is, you don't have to like expel all of that brain power trying to figure out, well, exactly what, uh, what chord is that? It doesn't matter. It's staying within the scale, so you're okay for right now. Okay? So that's the scale chord. So let me just play one more time so you, ha so you know exactly what it is. And we get to the B flat measure 4. So I'll see you in a second.